everybody, my name's Snugglebutt, and today with me to announce the 2018 Winter Olympic Games on the channel is my pal, Otterbot. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Alright, so the, the theme is simple. We picked out four daring gaming competitors to play in tournament-style Winter Olympics on this side. We have... It's right there. Am I holding it up? No, no, God, that's terrible prop. <laughs> Why would you hold that up? You wrote it. I know I did. That was a spur of the moment thing. I'm gonna go ahead and let Autobot uh, give you the names of the contestants that are playing in this these matches. So competing today, we have the infamous Grain Wetsky, Nick Dutz, George, who apparently does not have a last name, and Benny, who also does not have a last name. Yeah, we picked him up from the same uh, regional town, so yeah. it's, it's okay. It's a uh, customs there. Yeah, it did not go well. It yeah. did not go well. It's all right, though. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get down to the floor and get the first game going, which I believe, uh, I believe is skiing. Downslope yep. skiing. Okay. No, it's, it's coming in. That is correct. That is correct. Correct. Good. Good. Let's take it to the slopes. To the slopes. There we go. All right. So on the left side, we have Grain Wetski. He's playing Luigi, who has a about a turn skill and some fair jumping going on. Well, on the uh, right side we have Nick Dutz playing Bowser Jr. He's pretty much got everything in that package there, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see. I'm worried about that top speed there, Snuggle. Uh, While Luigi's top speed is pretty low, let's see if it's going to hold him back in the uh, in the event. You would think so, but uh, but it's all downhill, so gravity affects everybody the same, right? That's Not, with legs, <laughs> Not with those legs, it doesn't. Not with those legs. legs, those chicken legs will... Uh, Give us a little bit of difference there. It's the chicken legs and the bell bottoms, my friend. It's the bell really bottoms. Gonna, they're the bell... going to make the difference. Ah, oh, that's right. Those bell bottoms are not very aerodynamic. They uh, they get caught in the wind too much. Go! There you go. The push off. Look at that form. Impeccable. Now these are the tricky ones to go because you have to you have to serpentine, but you got to stay maintain front on the body. Now this is where uh, we see. Uh, Mr. Wetsky uh, struggled a little bit. He uh, was in our Dance Dance Revolution tournament. He uh, did not do well. Not, not, not good well. at all. He was not so good on that. But it looks like he's handling these uh, these these camel humps pretty good. Moguls, pretty I believe, is the term. Uh, moguls. That's not correct, actually. Mo moguls. Hmm. Well, he only got two tricks off on that one. So once again, our fears of what he could uh, could accomplish seems to be a little true on this. He's just gonna end this out and try. Oh, he missed that one. That wasn't that wasn't good. But he finished. Where does he land in line? Not great, not great. His air points are a little low. great, but he's in first place overall somehow. Um, the other competitors are apparently not good on the slopes either, so that was a good start. In fairness, he is competing against a majority of animals, for what it's worth. Yes, and none of them seem to be snow-based animals. It seems a bit unfair for us. I actually saw a crocodile against. competing today, which doesn't seem like it would you know, do well in the snow. Or a hedgehog. I heard they have problems with hibernating during that time and falling asleep during the winter. It's not good. It's not good. All right, up next we have Bowser Jr. being piloted by none other than... Ready! Nick Dutz. Nick Dutz, getting ready for the charge up. And he's off. So blazing speed. He does have the advantage on speed. It's going to be that small body to where he can just be less affected by that wind. And he gets more torque because he's lower center of gravity, I imagine. That's true. I have no physicist. Now, we did have a, have a dossier report on him that he has done a lot of... Oh, look at those perfects coming out. Strong there. But he does do a lot of calisthenics and some yoga. So I feel like the posing in the air is not going to be too difficult for him. We see him pounding out a fair... A little struggle with that, but... A little bit. Back are hard for anybody, especially for bipedal lizards. Yeah, but he was able to tuck it at the end and pull off that complete turn onto it. Wow, just tearing up those what you Excellent. Call them. <laughs> what, what were those incorrectly called earlier? Are they moguls? I can't moguls? tell if they're moguls. I'm not, I'm not sure either, but uh, he was definitely putting in work there. That puts him at 23.95. Honestly, only a few points higher than the... Uh, a few points to make all the difference there, Snuggle. What's the, the I difference. mean, it does make the difference, because clearly in the ceremony, we now see him taking the full lead. So that puts... That puts Still good old road. Nick Dutz onto the winner's path. <laughs> most importantly, just to reiterate, Waluigi lost to a turtle and barely beat a gorilla. That gorilla's got a lot of top heaviness to him, though. I don't know how he performed so well. Um, 
All forearm strength. All no, four. we lost all the replays for the gorilla. Um, yeah, interns. What are you gonna do? Those silly interns. Why do we have interns running the, the feed on the Olympic Games? I think it was his uncle. Oh, no, that yeah. makes sense. No. Anyway, moving on to the next event, which yeah, just gets... remind me, what is the next event? Greg, no, Greg. Are you are yours attached to something? I don't I don't hear anybody. Oh, we only had one. But we're a low budget firm. Oh, oh, Anyways, to this commercial break while we figure out what event is next. Um, it's the speed skating. Oh, cool, speed skating. In a world ravaged by robot masters, there's one bot that'll answer the call to save everyone. That's Mega Man. Join us every other Monday while we take down the robot masters. But not only do we take down the robot masters, but you guys get to pick what robot masters it is. So make sure that you take the time to vote at the end of each episode to decide exactly how the videos are going to go. Mega Mondays, where you guys get a vote on what robot can, we get a kick. Alright, so we're back, and we're going to be doing some speed skating. We have uh, what appears to be George on the left and Benny on the right. George is playing Yoshi while Blaze is being done in by Benny. Now, their stats seem to be nothing close to even there while Yoshi has that top speed. You'd think it'd give him the advantage in here, but, uh... I don't know, it might be about that cornering and that quick acceleration off the turns. What do you what do you think there, Otter? I'm thinking that with a name like Blaze, there's no way she can possibly lose in speed skating. That is true, but she is up against Sonic. Which I feel like is, you know, probably not the smartest person to try and go against in a competition of speed. I think that that for the, the next competition we're going to have to institute some sort of Drug testing, just to make sure that everything's on the up and up. That hedgehog is a little too fast. Yeah, but look at how buff that gorilla is. I feel like we're going to be opening up one can of worms here. And there's no way a plumber can move the way he does on the diet that would denote that body. That's very true. I think the important thing to note here is Donkey Kong's footwear. It seems that he's wearing sandals. I mean, with feet that large, you really don't have enough leather to cover the whole foot for a good budget that his country has. Which I don't know what his country is. I, isn't it Japan? Is it? Aren't they all from Japan? Uh, wow. Yeah, you have a point there. I would, I would imagine they're all... This is a very one-sided Olympic event if you really think about it. It's just wow. Japan versus Japan. Oh. oh, and both competitors are in back as a total onto it, but the rules of the tournament is just they have to beat the other person they're playing against. So a 3-4 finish is perfectly fine. It still gets the third person wow. into the next round for it. Group. Heading into lap four, we have Blaze with what I think is a commanding lead. I'm still not sure how this sport works. It Sonic is like still pretty far out in front of Blaze there, so I'm not sure about commanding, but they do... Oh, oh, there's a rolling gorilla now. That is a problem. I didn't realize that there was also a gymnastic portion of this event. Uh, I am not paying enough That's attention. actually the great thing about these sports is that, you know, they like to mix in all kinds of things. Kind of like the, uh, the MMA of uh, Olympic Games. You'll see that here. That's a terrifying prospect because I don't want to compete against Donkey Kong in any sort of MMA competition. Uh, Yoshi just decided to jump the corner. I'm not sure. The ruling says that's okay. He landed it and now he's eating a wall. Um, not sure about her competitor there. How about Blaze though? She's coming around tight. You think she's going to get that monkey? It's all about those angles. Oh, no that was close. And can the we, verdict. Can we, get, can we get the replay? What, what are they coming in with? Third. Third. Oh, she just missed beating that monkey. That had to be a photo. You can see the disappointment Benny. on her face. And she's not happy about that. Um, but on the plus side, Benny did beat out George. So we do have both of our um, competitors for the winner's circle. So there we go. It's always nice Taking to see when... Uh... Just, it's just... There's only one way to say this, Andy. What's that? Blaze it. 
and and for that, um, I think that's the end of this this casting. Uh, we have run out of time. We have run out of dollars for the air. It's like one of those old movie machines where you just keep putting quarter in, and we're out of quarters. But anyways, if you liked the video, go and snuggle on up to that like button and give it a fur. Yet sensual click. We look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Are we off air? Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, so. thank God. Wait, no. <laughs> Now the light's off. Oh. <laughs>